Hey, what's going on guys? This is TaibaHasaKicks.com and today we're going to talk about the Trophy Room uh, 1. The shoe is coming out on, again, next month, February on the 10th and it's going to cost about 170 and it's only 12,000 pairs that were made. So you already know people are really going to want to jump on this shoe and rightfully so because it's going to be good for resale purposes and it's just one of those shoes that is limited. So a lot of people want it. So I guess I've seen a lot of like YouTube guys and sneaker blogs with early pairs. And it's like, you wonder, are those like authentic? And that's the question, that's the million dollar question. Cause I try to find like legitimate uh, pictures and I can't find any just yet. Like even this one that I see here, I don't think it's a legitimate uh, shoe. I think it's a, it's, a, it's a fake one. In which, I mean, I don't care much. I just want to be able to have like access to like authentic, uh, authentic uh, pairs so I can do my side by side comparison. Because when you look, especially if I look, when I looked at this, uh, uh, this uh, tag in here, like he it doesn't, it's supposed to be numbered. And in here it says like February the 10th, 1985, which is a dead giveaway, I think. But if you look through it, there's like uh, pictures and pictures after pictures of people rocking the shoe and not don't think this is authentic, okay? So I'm looking at it right now and I don't think it's authentic. I don't wanna waste your time, but the thing is, it's good for us to be, be aware of it, okay? And I went on uh, YouTube, uh, eBay and I also saw that there's some guys selling it. Now, the good thing about eBay is this, like this, there's this authenticity guaranteed. So that means you're not gonna, you're not gonna lose your money. And if, if, you, if somebody sells it to you and it's fake, then you'll be able to get your money back. And I also went on StockX and there is no sales recorded so that means nobody really have the shoe on hand just yet and the places the place to go to really uh, check this out is trophy room so i went on trophy room website to try and gather some information he has no information there on the shoe whatsoever so you don't know when the shoe is coming out besides what those sneaker blogs are saying there is no indication on to what the shoe looks like so we don't really have access to 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 authentic uh, legitimate pairs. I went on Nike website, there's nothing. So what do you do? So basically when I went on eBay, I found three sellers that are carrying the shoes. So what I did was I looked on each one. You know, this guy has five feedback. So I'm most likely thinking he's selling fakes because when I look at it, he doesn't even have pictures and this, the shoe that he has on here matches up with the fake one that I've, I've seen on, uh, on, on this uh, Asian website, okay? And then I look at the next one. He doesn't even have the shoe on hand. He's promising that he'll be able to get it once they come out. So that's his promise. And then the last one was from Cool Shoe Shine. Now, cool Shoe Shine has been on eBay for a long time. And his feedback is like 51,000 and some change. So he's selling the shoe for $13,000. So I'm thinking you're not gonna wanna sell this shoe and put your reputation on the line. So basically, I'm sure he has access to an authentic pair, but the funny thing is this, he says without box. So that means this is the box that he shows. So that means there is some kind of shady thing going on here. I'm not throwing shades on the guy, shades on the guy but I'm saying he, he probably has an authentic pair on hand, but he doesn't have the full package, which means he was received through some kind of a uh, gray, area there's a gray area here and i don't want to get into it too much but i'm sure he's selling an authentic pair okay so basically what i did was i want to show you the fake ones that everybody's selling on, on on youtube and everybody has on youtube this is the fake one and this is from this probably they probably got it from these guys and then they have like tons of pictures look this is the fake one they look great i mean <laughs> they look they look awesome man crazy i'm just gonna go through some of the pictures and the ironic thing is this, he has one of 12,000. Basically he has the first pair that was made. So each pair of these shoes is like unique. So this is funny that they have like one of 12,000, which is funny. So this is the fake one. So now how do you authenticate the shoe if you don't have the authentic pair on hand? How do you do it? So basically I'm gonna just use logic here a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna use some kind of logical um, argument here to kind of show you what I did. And let me get to that. So we don't have an authentic pair. So what do we do? The way I did it was this. I went and I just looked at uh, some of the areas I can look for, okay? I'm assuming that Cool Shoe Shine is selling an, an, an authentic pair, okay? Since he's selling an authentic, we're gonna use this pictures to try to be, and that's gonna be our backdrop. But I'm not actually gonna look at the pictures because it's useless. It's hard to tell with these pictures. I'm just gonna look at some 
some strong indicators, which is this the inside tag and the inside um, label. So what I did was I went and I pinned this against the fake one that I saw. Okay, if you look at the tag inside, this is a cool shoe shine. And I say assumed real because I don't know. I'm assuming he's selling the real one because he, he won't put his reputation on the line. Okay, so if you look, the style of the letters here and the style here is totally just not the same. You can look and it's just the contrast is clear. It hits your eyes. And if you look at the gap between the made in China and this the first set of uh, threads, the gap is much smaller on the authentic. And the fake one is a much bigger gap here. And you can see here that this is crooked. It's not properly lined. It's not collinear. You can see that the stitches here is like kind of leaning up. And if you look at the writing here, the, the 12,000 and the font, and just the style is not the same. And if you look at the gap between the 12,000 and the bottom of the, the tab here, there's a bigger gap on the authentic pair. Again, this is all, it's not relative because you can kind of see it right here. It shows you and you see the differences like look at the made in china this is like the white used here is not it's not it's like a pure snow white this is like off white you can see the contrast between this one and this one here and the lettering the stitching a little bit of difference there but definitely the top okay the if you see the the, the, the length the gap between the the twelve thousand and this this writing here at the bottom of the bottom edge of the top is, is, is the gap is bigger on the authentic and just a lot of things here. The gap between the fabricated in China, the made in China, and this first set of thread. Again, there's a lot of things here that I see. Okay, I'm not gonna talk too much about the shoe because I don't have it. But these are the strong indicators. Again, I'm assuming Cool Shoe Shine is selling the authentic pair. If it's not, then you might as well just shut this up because this is a waste of time. But I'm assuming he's not gonna put his reputation on the line like that. He's not gonna do that. Okay. And then the next thing is the inside. Again, if you look. Uh, on the authentic, which I'm assuming from Cool Shoe Shine, you can see that the this layer here is covering the Jumpman and the XC and the size. This is a size nine and a half, UK eight and a half, and this is a size eight and a half, and UK seven and a half. You can see you can kind of clearly see the the Jumpman here on the fake one. On the authentic, is this layer is there is is kind of covering it over. And if you look at the writing again, the lettering and the writing, much bolder on the on the fake pair. Here it's kind of like a little blurry, but you can kind of see see the recognize the contrast. And if you look at the writing here, I mean the date is the same. They got the date right, but it's just uh, the font is not the same between the two pairs. Okay, this is why I put an arrow here. But again, this is going to be a hard one. Again, I'm just basing this on the assumption that Cool Shoe Shine has an authentic pair. Okay, other than that, I'm just talking nonsense, just like everybody else. Because I don't have a shoe on hand to tell you oh, this is a fake, this is real. But if you look at the uh, the fake one, man, they look like, I mean, I mean, it's just crazy. And yeah, I, do I blame somebody? And most of the fakes that I've seen, most of the guys that are on YouTube, they have this box. And some I have like some have like a different box, but there's no telling. I don't know what the authentic pair looks like, so I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna show you what I came up with, and hopefully that will help you out. out. That will help you guys out because I don't know what to do. I'm just like you, I know for sure that this shoe is gonna sell for like probably four, five, twelve thousand dollars even more because it's limited and everybody wants it. So it's gonna be a hard one to, to get back to get, but it's gonna be one that's gonna be bootleg like crazy. And talking about bootleg, I wanted to show you a couple of things here. I wrote an article that was like a couple of days ago, a few, no, no, last week. And I talked about this new set of bootlegs that are on the market. They're actually not really fake shoes because the guys are pretty much creating uh, the Jordan 1 silhouette and just replacing the logos with their own logos. This is the Air Kai. They did a great job. He even has like a, the airplane there they show and the Jordan, uh, the, the legs, the jump, it's not even a jump man, his own man. Legs there with uh, the logo. It looks like a lightning bolt and he's pretty much doing the black toe one and I've, and he sold like incredible like i when i did my numbers here he sold several pairs like let me see how many he sold about uh when i did my numbers he sold about 106 pairs within a month and a half and the, re, the, the retail price on the shoes 190 which is more than the jordan one and the, the markup 
was like 40% to 120%. He was making the profit on the resale on this is like $80 to $250, which is crazy. I've never seen that before. Now, this one, I kind of didn't like that much because he has like a, this is vulgar, okay? You're not gonna just, this, I didn't like the fact that he did that. This is, this is just stuff that you don't do. I don't quite agree with his brain and the logo. I don't like it because it's just vulgar, okay? I'm not gonna buy this for my kid for you to walk around with uh, putting your, one of those uh, dirty fingers up. That's just not right. But he did sell a lot of shoes, which means he's basically, uh, he's basically just standing standing up against the, the corporate. Okay, this is what they're doing. And the last one, the one in the chamber, the Fugazis, that's also, I don't quite like this logo. It's kind of cheesy. I just don't like it. I kind of, I like this a little bit here, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm not too, but he sold at 326 pairs, which is incredible. And again, the markup on it is crazy. You know, that's, and then the thing is this, like, why are they getting away with it? Because bootlegs are now accepted. You know, you, you no longer get excommunicated. And the thing is this, like Nike has been getting away with murder for a long time. Okay, they, Nike makes shoes and it's hard for people to get it. So people are getting tired of it, okay? If I can create my own brand, why not? If I can use the silhouette that is working, why not make it? And that's what they've done and it's working. I mean, this guy made like 22 or seven pairs and he sold out. He even has like the audacity to put the guy in here to just kind of like say Nike, anything you do, I can also do. So that is crazy. But uh, if you want to read the entire article, I'm going to invite you to, to go on the website and check it out, okay? That's all I wanted to say today. Hopefully this guy, this information helps you guys out. And if you like it, please like it, share it, and subscribe to HouseofKicks.com. Thanks for watching and this is Taib.